In this video, the goal is to convert one atomic mass unit into these strange new units of mega electron volts per C squared. We're keeping five significant digits on everything, and we're given a reference table. We have one atomic mass unit listed in kilograms, the speed of light written in meters per second, and the elementary charge, in other words, the charge magnitude on an electron or a proton, given in coulombs. Now, when we look at these units and we're told that we can measure mass with mega electron volts per C squared, immediately we think this has something to do with the famous equation, E equals mc squared. And when we solve this equation for m, we get m equals E over C squared. In other words, we can compute the energy equivalence of a mass and divide by C squared, and then we're talking about mass units. So to find an atomic mass unit in these energy over C squared units, we first need to find its energy equivalence. So we go back again to E equals mc squared. And we just plug in the mass in kilograms and the speed of light in meters per second. And when we run the numbers on this, we get 1.4924 times 10 to the negative 10 joules. Now that we have the energy equivalence of that mass, we want to change into units of electron volts. So we need to multiply by the conversion factor between electron volts and joules. Now recall that an electron volt is the change in energy for a single electron traveling through a one volt potential difference. So we just take charge times the potential difference to get the change in energy, and that's 1.6022 times 10 to the negative 19 joules for each electron volt. I have made a video where that derivation is done in more detail, and I'll just post a link to that real quick. So our joules cancel, and when we run the numbers on this, we get 9.3144 times 10 to the eighth electron volts. Now our goal in the problem is to express things in mega electron volts, and that's 10 to the 6th. So I peel off two factors of 10 and change the coefficient to 931.44, and then I get times 10 to the 6th EV, and of course that's a mega electron volts, so I get 931.44 MeV. Now that we have the energy equivalence of one atomic mass unit, we go back to where we solved E equals mc squared for m m is e over c squared, so we take the energy equivalence and divide by c squared. The energy equivalence was 931.44 MeV, and we're dividing that by c squared. And we've got the atomic mass unit written in MeV per c squared. Now these units are going to be very convenient for calculations in nuclear physics. And if you're interested in seeing how we apply these units, you can click on my quantum, atomic, and nuclear playlist. And there are several examples in there where I've used these units of MeV per C squared to do binding energy calculations and to analyze nuclear reactions.